All right, got my bucket back. It's time to go backyard grocery shopping. <laughs> backyard grocery shopping, y'all. Let's start with these beans here. Since they're long overdue to be plucked. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard doing this with one hand. So, I'll let y'all watch me do a couple of them. Okay. Yep. So I think the way the best way to do it is pull up on it. Or it down. I don't think it's up. I like using my scissors though, to be honest. So let me grab, grab a couple of them. So you just snap it up. Use the smaller ones. More tender. Okay. So I like to get see how I did that? See that? It's kinda it pull the branches or the vines off okay that's why I like to use scissors okay so because I don't want to like snatch it out the ground uh, let me grab my scissors all right got my scissors got another trick-or-treat bucket one for the beans and then one for the greens. So I got my scissors. <sighs> Make this thing a whole lot easier. Now, y'all probably not gonna watch me do, do all this now. So, and just in case y'all can uh, refer to this video here to see me pluck more green beans. Cause this is really hard to do with one hand, so. Uh, but just let y'all see me do a couple of them. So I cut them off like that. Come back and pick them up. I cut one over there somewhere, but I'll get it. It's a close one. Just like that. Way easier, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about. Pulling on it, uh, yanking on it, and uh, pull the whole uh, plant out of the ground. We don't want that. We don't want that, not yet. Now look how big this one is. Let me, I cut the wrong one. The one I cut. I think I may have cut the wrong one, but. I'll grab it in a minute. This, anyway, this is what I'm talking about. How big that thing is. So, the problem is we let them grow this big. They actually start to grow beans, actual beans inside the pots. Which means they're not as tender. They're very tough. So, uh, this one here. I'll probably eat the outside of it and just pop the beans out, out of it. Because I don't like chewing on the tough beans. Anyway, so, that's just a few of them. Uh, I'm going to put this thing on pause for a minute. And uh, I'll just bring y'all back. Let y'all see how many I got. Alright, y'all. So, this one we're working with. As far as the uh, green beans. That's a lot of beans, y'all. I think it's probably about a couple pounds. So, I think we got about... Uh, we got everything that was... Uh, that looked like it was ready. You know, that was, you know, longer than three inches. So anyway, we got our beans. Now let's go ahead and go around to the other side. As you see, we look at these, uh, we look at the kale over there. And you look at the uh, chart over here. You see it's bushier on that side, right? Obviously because I started on that side. And, uh, you know, I put more seeds in the ground on that side. So, uh, we we'll start on that side to get the bigger uh, foliage or the bigger leaves. And uh, I'm going to use my other bucket for this. So we got two buckets, two shopping buckets. One for green beans and one for greens. Chard and kale. So, same thing with kale, like, I mean with the uh, chard. 
and and kale. I like using my scissors. It likes it makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip a couple of these big leaves. Okay, like bam, just like that. One here. See, you don't have to come all the way to the bottom, right? Cause I'm not gonna eat the what? I'm not gonna eat. Oh, okay, now you see. I'm not gonna eat what's at the bottom anyway. I don't want all the stems. The stems are kind of tougher. I just want the uh, the top part. Okay. So, like right here. See that? Nice, beautiful, beautiful leaf. Now, look how big that is. See? It's the size of lettuce. And we have even bigger leaves like this one here. So we'll grab that one. Get out of the way. Uh, can y'all see my scissors? Nope. Now you can see it. Go ahead and clip this one. She's a big one. She's a big one. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's about as big as my hand is. Look at that. As big as my hand is. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing with a few more leaves. Not going to get too much. Um, just going to get some, just maybe use the side of, uh, I don't know, I might dice it up, put it inside of rice, or uh, put it inside smoothies over the next uh, few days so let me go ahead and get a few more of these here uh, charred leaves and uh, we'll go down to the kale all right so we'll grab as much chart as we need for the next uh, few days and uh, this is how much we got that's enough I'm gonna throw just a few leaves inside the blender when I make uh, smoothies or dice a few leaves up or one or two leaves because these are big leaves inside of my uh, rice. But uh, that's uh, one, uh, you know, kale leaf I uh, already picked or already cut. So same thing with kale, right? We're going for the biggest ones, the biggest leaves. The biggest leaves are more tougher. I mean, not that I like that. Just want to go ahead and get rid of them for it to get even bigger or even tougher. So, cut these leaves off, then we'll come back and pick them up. Okay. These babies are big. I came out here and tasted it. Taste one of them. I tasted a little piece of one yesterday. And uh, that's the first time I actually taste uh, any of this uh, kale. And it tasted very good, very tender. I liked it. My daughter wants some chips, kale chips. So we may try making that. I don't know. Maybe we record a video, you know, of us making it. My mom used to make it. I don't remember ever having it though, but my wife and daughter, they ate it all the time. My, my mom ate it, so are we gonna go back and come back and pick these leaves up? I don't need a few of them, and that's that's about enough right here. Probably more than enough. Cause they have some big ones. They are big ones. I think that's it. One more here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got our shopping buckets. Backyard grocery shopping. Yep. So we'll work with what we got right here.
do that. I kind of crushed that, did I? No, I was just made that way. It curved that way, okay. So, anyway, so this we got, okay. Green beans, chard, and kale. All right, so, man, we did real good this year, you know, uh, with harvest. Great yield, great yield. Uh, so I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. And uh, maybe I'll come back. Maybe tomorrow or sometime this week and go ahead and plant more green beans. Maybe fill in the gaps over here with the with the kale and the, and, the, and the chart. Or the chart and the kale. So anyway, uh, anyway y'all, so as I discussed earlier, you know, this is, this is a plus, you know knowing how to grow your own food it's very nutritious and uh, of course we need as many nutrients as we can to stay healthy and those that lab food you know I hate to even say the word or the acronyms uh, just don't have the nutrition the nutrition or the nutrient that we need in order to sustain a healthy lifestyle so uh, give me one second Oh, right, y'all, I'm back. So just to quickly finish what I was saying. So, uh, abide by the scripture. Uh, Psalms 146 and 3. Put not your trust in man. So don't rely on what man created. Rely on what the Most High created. He created all the elements within the earth, the medicinal plants, the herbs. All that, all that stuff has the nutrients in it that we need in order to sustain uh, optimal health. So concerning growing uh, your own food, so notice here about the fitness, we do things different. We don't do things according to how the norm do it, okay? We do not use chemicals. We don't use fertilizer. We don't use none of that in our garden, see? And uh, we've been able to get just as much food as they get. Maybe it's not as big, but hey, it's food and there's a lot of food. The only thing we did was just amend the dirt. You know, just separate most of the clay and, and rocks and glass and all that type of stuff from the soil. Put it back in the earth, in a hole, back in here. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, throw some seeds in it and keep it hydrated. Organic heirloom seeds. And we have done great. So I don't do things according to how everyone else do it. You know what I'm saying? They say use fertilizer. I say nope. Okay. They say use all of this. Uh, you know, actually, they, it's nothing wrong with using uh, compost. But you don't, obviously, you don't have to. I have not used compost. Okay. Especially compost that's bought from the store. Not to say that the earth, not to say that my garden does not have the same things the compost have in it. Okay. And I mean compost, I'm talking about natural compost. You know what I'm saying? The leaves, the sticks, the grass, you know, things of that nature. Okay, to add the carbon and the nitrogen to the soil to make it make it healthier. You know, raise the pH of the soil to make it healthier, make it grow better. So we've done great, you know what I'm saying? We we have the cucumbers growing. We did way better this year than we did last year. Last year we didn't have any cucumbers, you know. We had no squash last year. Okay. We got more beans this year. I'm pretty sure we're going to have more potatoes this year. Way more chard this year. We didn't have chard. I'm not sorry. Way more chard and we didn't have kale. But well, we got kale this year. See what I'm saying? So, you don't have to rely on any chemicals, any fertilizers, anything that's purchased out of the store. Only thing you need is a shovel a couple of rakes things of that nature you know what I'm saying just to mend the dirt level the dirt out just to make it easier to work with and just seeds so i guess you got to buy your seeds from the store if you desire to or order them offline i get my uh, seeds from 
the Whole Foods store, Whole Foods Market. And uh, I think I paid about two seventy nine per pack, something like that. So, uh, like I say, one more time, you don't have to use what they have in order to grow food. You only need what God provided. I don't like using the name, the name God. So I just say the Most High. So anyway, use what the Most High provided. He gave us everything we need on this earth. So, let me back, back you guys out. <laughs> Try not to step on my pile of leaves that has my dandelions up in here. My dandelions up in yonder. Got that nice big old huge, you know, charred plant right here. Probably should take some of it. I think I may take some of it next time. Take some of it next time. Anyway, so that's it for today, and uh, I'll bring you guys back for uh, the next the next update. And when I actually uh, go ahead and plant more beans, chard, and kale. That's that. I appreciate y'all for joining me. Catch you guys back on the next episode. Keep yourself healthy by putting nutrients in your body not those other things be good so this actually equals uh one pound and six ounces to be exact so not quite two pounds but pretty close two pound and a half pretty close to pound and a half that's a lot of beans it's a lot of beans so this amount of beans in the grocery store will run about uh, probably near ten dollars, somewhere close to ten bucks. We paid about two dollars. <laughs> okay, so try growing it yourself instead of buying it. See y'all on the next one.